This is Brie. Brie McCheese. I met you at Kazar Gardens when when um, that was being occupied. And the, through the loveliness of the flexibility of the movement, now we're occupying another space. We're at what used to be Hayes Valley Farms, and it has now been liberated by Liberate the Land, and it is being liberated in, in personhood with Turkey, Istanbul. Mm -hmm. you, you know about that? Yeah, the Occupy movement going down there, it's pretty gnarly. I keep watching uh, live updates on it, just seeing the streets on fire, and it's really terrible. Um, another man I'm working with, Amos, is a really good uh, political mural artist. He's actually going to Turkey to do some stuff, and I'll be going over the Tenderloin with him later to finish up a genocide mural. But we're trying to liberate the land, we're trying to occupy, take everything back make everything everybody's, nobody has a higher hand anymore, you know? We need to just grow our own food, we don't want to eat those GMOs, all that bullshit. We're, they're killing us slowly, you can't even buy seeds that aren't genetically modified. You know, not I even was seeds, wondering so. about that, whether this group has non-polluted seeds. Yes, yes they do. I want to buy some of those. everything is organic and uh, different organic nurseries and people have been donating stuff, which is lovely. So yeah, it will be all 100% organic. We're not gonna put any crap in there. And we're doing the best we can to get all the stuff out of the um, soil and kinda uh, maybe get some earthworms going and you know break up the dirt and you know, everybody's doing what they can to make it the best situation possible. You're really working hard here. Did Hayes Valley Farm give you their, their seeds? Plants? That I'm not quite so well, sure Well, where did about. you get the non-GMO seeds from? Uh, some of them are donated from other nurseries. Ryan would know more about exactly okay. the origin of who. I just do the planting and know that they are not, because <laughs> I trust these people. Yeah. So what have you been planting, Bree? What plants? I planted beans, lots and lots of beans, and a bunch of broccoli, and then, you know, I was just basically digging out a lot of the plastic in the soil and trying to aerate it and get it nice. That's a lot of work. How it's good work. Good work. You like that work. <laughs> it's honorable work. Yeah. So what motivates you to do this honorable work? All the people that are out here getting the spaces, you know? These guys, they, they come out, they find, you know, what's going on, what's wrong, and they get these spaces. So I, I'm supporting these guys, and, you know, I want everybody to have access to these places. There's people starving all over the place, and there's a bunch of crap we're going to do, put another parking lot, put another this or that. We need food. We need, we need non-harm food so we could, you know, live better and love each other more. You know, good food is good for your mind. Yes, it absolutely is. Um, the GMO food causes every single kind of bad disease from cancer to diabetes. What really worries me is that the GMO seeds blow into farmers' fields where they have non-GMO seeds, right. and then Monsanto sues the farmers for having their patented seeds growing without their, against their will on their land. So the, the takeaway for me on that is I don't know if you've thought about this, there's a real danger of everything becoming GMO'd. I mean, it really is. I, I'm terrified of that. I think it's horrible. I don't know why they would even want to do such a thing. I, I don't know. The government's fucked. It's got to be aliens or something. Like, seriously, it just doesn't make any sense. Why hurt all the people all over on, like, a global scale with these seeds? It's bad. Why, why are they trying to kill everybody? It's not population control, it's something deeper than that, and I just don't know what it is. Well, I heard a theory about this last night on Ring of Fire Radio that Robert F. Kennedy, he does a lot of stuff on the environment, and somebody he was interviewing said that these people don't know. They literally don't get it. They're in their narrow little band of reality, which has to do with money, to the extent that they really don't understand that. Now, I'm kind of back and forth on that with you. Is there an intention there? 